My name is Deirdre de Berke, and I'm the Director of Advocacy and Justice for Children for World Vision's Brussels office. World Vision is an international Christian organisation. It works around the world with children, their families and their communities to overcome poverty and injustice. We're very excited at the moment because a new European Parliament has been elected and we see the European Parliament as an important ally in our work to try to build a strong child rights agenda globally. So what can the European Parliament do? Well at the moment none of its standing committees have any explicit responsibility for children. There's no assessment of the impact of its legislative or its non-legislative work on children and there's no tracking or no possibility to track what share of the EU budget has been spent on children. So we've been in contact with the newly elected MEPs and we've asked them to do certain things to make sure that this new parliament can promote a transformative child rights agenda, not just in Europe, but around the world. The first thing we've asked MEPs to do is to make sure that there is a new institutional capacity in the parliament so that children's rights can be maintained across the work of all of its committees. The second thing we've asked is that there's a successor framework developed on the EU agenda for the rights of the child. And the third thing is that the post-2015 agenda, which is being negotiated at the moment, strongly mainstreams child's rights across the uh, entire agenda. MEPs can help us with this, and so we're going to be working with them over the next five years to make sure that we try to bring about these outcomes together. But we're not forgetting about the Commission either, because the Commission at the moment is being appointed, and the MEPs will be interviewing and, and conducting hearings of commissioners over the coming weeks. We want them to make sure that key commissioners have the sufficient child right expertise in their cabinets to make sure that they can work on promoting children's rights throughout the policy making of the Commission. And so we're asking for the President of the European Commission, the High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy and the Commissioner for Justice to make sure that they have a child rights expert within their cabinet. We look forward to working together with the Commission, the Parliament, the European External Action Service and the European Member States over the coming five year period to make sure that the European Union truly becomes a global champion of child rights.